grew up playing sports my whole life. So kind of uh, when I got to high school, I realized, you know, I'm not gonna be a professional athlete like all the kids dream of playing football and all, all that. So started focusing on what I wanted to do with my career and being around sports, I've always been happy. It's been a passion of mine. So right away, I sort of started looking to see what I could do and um, got a couple offers to play lacrosse in college and with injuries and stuff like that, I ended up um, not being able to achieve that dream. Um, so instead, I, I stayed close to home. Uh, my, my uncle went to Towson and one of my cousins went to Towson. They loved it. Um, I saw they had a sports management program. So went there junior and senior year, needed internships in order to graduate. So I started looking and um, I ended up finding an internship with the Bayhawks my junior year, um, summer going into my senior year and started out just a game day intern because I didn't need that many credit hours. Um, they couldn't do anything special for me, um, but through my work on game day and then just slowly and surely like just going in there with, I'm not in the office every day, but I'm, every time that I'm in the office or on a game day, I'm gonna work as hard as I can to get noticed. Um, they gave me more and more responsibility each time. And eventually uh, by the end of the internship, I was sort of running their um, on field production so all their contests and organizing it and making sure we had contestants and any people that we were honoring or booking national anthem singers so I started doing all that by the end of my internship and then following that internship once they found out I was graduating they sort of gave me a prove yourself position here with the Bayhawks um, two years ago so basically I was came on I wasn't promised a job I wasn't given a salary I was paid um, hourly and I had a 45 hour week time schedule and then got paid overtime to work game days on the weeks that we had those but nothing was promised after the three months was up they could just say all right you're on your own so this year has been kind of crazy because I got hired on full-time after the 2018 season um, worked for the Bayhawks for six months ran a lot of their off-season events three or four of those and LSG uh, legendary sports group is the company I work for now uh, came in and sort of uh, was funded by BK, the owner, and they were given the opportunity to run Bayhawks event operations if they wanted to, um, as well as the many other things that they do with endurance sports races and team sports events and tournaments and stuff like that. They started taking on the event production side of it, and they were like, well, I mean, we're kind of in, in like shallow water. We don't know what's going on with the Bayhawks. We never run a Bayhawks event, so they asked me to come on full-time